Hi Clyber Cadabra, welcome to Album Week. Today I woke up and I decided to get dressed as I decide to most days. And since it was Tuesday, I started thinking about what I wanted to do my vlog about. And I thought about all these different albums that I really enjoyed. Started thinking about albums that I had listened to recently, like the 2020 Experience by Justin Timberlake. Or albums that have been around for a little bit longer that still stick with you, like uh, In the Aeroplane Over the Sea by Neutral Milk Hotel. Which album I was going to talk about today. And then as I was thinking about these things, I looked down at the shirt that I had decided to put on today. And what did I see but Miniature Tigers? And I thought, that's it! Because I had just bought this album, Tell It to the Volcano, on vinyl from their website because they said they had a couple more left. They thought they had sold out of this album on vinyl, but they found some first printings left, and this is the last of the first printings. So I got really excited. I bought this vinyl and I bought Fortress. I already have their most recent album. And I was like, this is perfect. I'll talk about Miniature Tigers. Now, I have a sort of emotional connection to this album because this album came along as I was developing my own musical taste. You know when you sort of develop what you like in comparison to your parents or your friends or whatever's playing on the radio at that time, you start to go a little bit deeper and find bands that you really enjoy. And Miniature Tigers is one of those bands for me. I feel like not a lot of people know about them. They're not super big, but they have a solid following. They're one of those bands that I followed from their first album. That When I started listening to them, they had this album out, and then they had two EPs out at the time. So. This is a band that I've grown with. As you grow with a band, you start to feel more connected with them. If they're making music that you like, if they're not making music that you like, you probably grow apart. But I've definitely grown with Miniature Tigers. So this album is symbolic, not only of my music taste belonging to me, but where my music taste has come from and how my music taste has grown since then. Also, since it's album week, I want to touch on the fact that this is in vinyl and that I own a lot of my favorite albums in vinyl. There's something special about holding a physical vinyl album and I know this it sounds so dumb and it's like the same argument that people use of books versus ebooks they're like oh I want to hold the pages in my hand I want to smell that musty book I love that smell and you're like whoa back off it's just something different about double clicking a track and actually putting this down on the turntable putting the needle onto the track and like just letting it play through um, there's no shuffle there's no repeat one and you could say it's antiquated and it has no place in the modern time for modern music. It's not what albums should be about, but I really like listening to albums all the way through. And I like the feeling that vinyl gives me. So, I don't know. Give it a try. Find your favorite album, buy it on vinyl, and just experience it. To me, it's just more of an experience. You're more involved in the music that you're listening to, and I think that's important. So. Miniature Tigers, tell it to the volcano, give it a listen, it's really good. And now songs on this album uh, have become Miniature Tigers classics, like Cannibal Queen, they play that at every show that I've been to. People love Tell It To The Volcano, Hot Venom, The Wolf, and this is where they started. So give it a listen, you won't regret it. Okay, bye, I'll see you next week.